craziest rumor you heard about yourself? Mm. Craziest rumor I heard about myself. I hear all kind of stuff all the time. Mm. What's the craziest one so far? Crazy, by crazy, what you mean by crazy? Like, Unbelievable, I can't believe they said this about me. Um. Well, a year ago, my boyfriend got killed. And the craziest thing I ever heard is that I had something to do with that. That was, that's, that was just unbelievable. Like, I have his name tatted. We live together. He was around my family. He knows my daughter who goes desperate measures. You know what I'm saying? Just to, like, just to at the end set you up. Like, I don't know. It's weird. So, yeah, no, but the... The crazy part about that is that I heard that I got paid 1500 to do it. Like, that was just like strange as fuck to me. That's the wildest shit I've ever heard. Have you addressed this publicly? Um, no, because I feel like some shit don't have to, it don't have to be addressed because at the end of the day, motherfuckers know what I did or I didn't do. If I had any involvement, I would be in jail for that. I don't feel the need to go around helping spread that. I just was like, he's gone. I don't have to deal with his family. I don't have to deal with anything that's pertaining to this because he's not living anymore. So what everybody's saying is neither here nor there. Like, I didn't even, I was just like, oh, I'm just so fucking through. And just for the record, you had nothing to do with Hell no. his death. No. How did he pass? Um, he got killed. He got shot um, like 12 times. You were not there? No. I wasn't. How did that rumor even start? Um, because I'm from a small city. I'm from a very small city, and actually, anytime a drug dealer or a guy gets killed, it's always that bitch set him up or that. Like I've for years, anytime a dude get killed, I always hear it was a female that did it. So I felt like that was the, that was that was easy. That was an easier story to be said because niggas don't be really wanting to apply smoke where it needs to be applied. Little old me, y'all know I didn't have nothing to do with that. Y'all won't, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't try to apply pressure on me. Apply where it needs to be applied. Y'all know who did that, what happened. I like, apply that pressure where it needs to be applied, because it's not over here. So, did you confront whoever started that? Um, no, I didn't. Um, I heard it and I didn't. I didn't feel the need to to. It was like crazy, like, damn, you really saying that? But at the same time, I know for a fact that, you know, that everybody knows that I didn't do that. People just lie, people say, people say shit. So it was just like, I don't feel the need to go around. Who said that? Who's, I didn't do that. Like, I don't seek validation from now, motherfucker. I don't care what they thought I did. Ain't nobody gonna, you thought I did it, so what? Cause that's, that, that's how I rock at, at a point in time. I'm not finna keep asking. I'm not about to go ask somebody or tell somebody, no, I didn't do it. And you try to tell me I still did it cause then the next thing gonna be, well then what, what you trying, what, you feel me? Like it's just, it's not gonna go like the way I'm raised, the way my mom and my daddy is, it's gonna be a bunch of bodies. You know what I'm saying? So I, I just left that shit alone. Like he gone, I mean, what? He was a gangster, that's, that's what happened to gangsters. Like he prepared me for that, I knew that, I knew you know what I'm saying? I knew certain stuff. So when that happened, I was like, he already prepared me for that. I knew people was gone. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like. He knew this was in he knew this was imminent. Yeah, like, live by the sword, die by the sword. Everybody that's in the streets know like this live by the sword, die by the sword. That's the saying. So although you don't actually bank on that, but when it happened, it, it's like, emotionally, I wasn't prepared for that, but I, I was prepared, like, for crazy things that people would say or just how they shit, how everything played, I, I was prepared for it. He had definitely had me prepared. That's what made it spooky, like, you really spoke your death into existence. And you, I didn't mean to cut you off, but uh, you were girlfriend and boyfriend at that time. Yeah, of his it, passing. Fr fresh, like so fresh that it was just, it was just crazy. It was just, it was extremely fresh. 
Whoever did this to your boyfriend at the time, have they been caught? Have they been convicted? Yeah. Caught and convicted or just caught? Caught and convicted. Did this rumor hurt your brand at all? No, because I'm from a small city. Like, nobody's, nobody worried about that. Nobody even, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I started making a little noise, there was like, he died. I met B King and started really rapping. It wasn't like, you know what I'm saying? So it was just like, that was already like, you know. That shit didn't stick. Like, everybody in my whole city know like me. Like, and know how I'm coming. So that shit just. When it comes, because of this experience, uh, when it comes to relationships in the future, are you staying away from the gangster guy? Are you staying away from the street guy? Did this? No. It didn't. I mean, like, my friends die every day. So I'm not like, oh, I'm not talking to that kind of guy no more because he just died. But like, I still talk, it's like, it's more of a vibe with me. Like, I gotta have something coming with you. So like your job occupation doesn't have to be in the streets or selling drugs, but I probably would kind of prefer if that's where you came from, like not from selling drugs, but if you you kind of grew up in the hood a little bit, like, you know what I'm saying? You got a little a little style in your talk and your walk a little something. Like, I just can't just do no nerd. I wouldn't even be able to vibe you. Like, but I mean, yeah. Now, when I first initially asked you the question, craziest rumor, you had mentioned something like, wow, I've heard so much stuff. Why so many rumors about you? Some people I interview don't have much. Um, because I just always been turned up like popular. Like I was throwing parties and shit when I was in high school. Like it's always, I always knew I wanted to do something. I always was into something. So it, it was always going to be, and when you always doing something, it's always going to be some type of rumors. When you just always in a mix of something. I was just always in a mix. I was bad in a motherfucker. <laughs> How true or false were the rumors that you've heard about you? Shit, half of them was true. Half of them wasn't true. Like, you know, it's all, something always gonna have a little truth to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, something always gonna be, like, gonna have some type of truth to it. What's your policy on rumors? Do you clear them up? Do you sweep them under the rug and just... I just feel like I do not... I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't, I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I could be around you and heard you say something, and I'm never going to bring it up or say that because you a pussy. That's how I'm going to look at it. I'm sitting in front of you. You sitting in front of me. You know what you said. You ain't said it to me. I don't feel the need to clear it up because I don't give a fuck what you think. But the fact that you said it to somebody else and you couldn't say it to me, I'm just thinking you a pussy in my head. Like, you just really just whack. Like... To address you on a rumor would like imply that I gave a fuck about what you thought or said. So, like, nah, I'm not finna go around charging up people for what they said. Like, no. Well, when I mean address, I mean maybe you address the public. Do you address social media? Do you address. Um, I used to when I was in high school. I used to have this shit bad. I'm getting straight on the internet, like, what? Like, in high school, I was crazy. Like, what? Like, who she beat up? boy? pull up now. Like, I'm getting on the internet, like, girl, I will bust your ass, but this in high school. This was high school. One rumor can break a person down. Yeah. Have you ever been broken down by a rumor before? No. 